Hi, I'm Camilla. And I'm Kay. And we are the, the Five Resellers. Resellers. And today we have a what sold video for you. So we're going to share our seven sales that sold for over $40 this past week. Then we're going to share a few items that we sold for a lot less profit. Our total numbers from the week, what we make as a full-time and a part-time reseller. And we have a different platform this week. We're going to share a little bit. We sent in a bag to thread up, so we're going to share a little bit about that. So definitely you want to stay tuned if you are interested in thread up stuff to offload old inventory. And then we're going to share our investments and then a community bolo. So that's something that someone else has sold that they sent in to us for a shout out and just for us to learn a little bit more and share it with you as well. Here we have a pair of Twisted X driving loafers. They're actually a women's driving loafer. Oh, really? I yeah. thought they were men's. <laughs> no, they're women's. I found that out when I looked up the style number. Nice. And so they sold for a total of $41.65. And we will ship these out in a padded flat rate. So what we do is we pack our items in basically a bread bag. We get these from Walmart. I think they're now cheaper places. The last time we bought a bunch of them, this is the cheapest place. Just to kind of make them waterproof, you know, keep them safe from the elements as they go. And then we get these stickers free from our store subscription using our coupon. And they just say, you know, thank you. That's the only thank you note we put in. We don't put in an extra card or anything like that. We're cheapskates. <laughs> so then we put in our uh, flat rate. We use pilot flat rates for most women's shoes and some smaller men's shoes, but men's shoes don't always fit in the pilot flat rate. There you go. All yep. packed up. All packed up. Great sale. So we sold these Outdoor Voices hiking pants that we picked up from Buffalo Exchange in Austin on our baby moon for $35. And we sold them for 130 free shipping on Mercari. So a really great sale. These are the Rec Tech pants and so if you ever find these from outdoor voices these are worth money they are a big bolo i guess that there are not that many online when i looked up comps there were not that many listed and a lot of them were sold and these are in a size xl which is a great size and i think we had the only ones in this colorway and in that size on the internet so pretty good find for sure yeah let's go ship it oh look at this you can see the colorway a lot better with yeah. this view and here is the tag again outdoor voices i'm sure you've seen that before i'm gonna put it in our handy dandy bread bag for all the items that are sold outside of ebay we have these cute little thank you stickers teeny tiny but they do the job we're sending this in a tiny flat rate envelope and the nice thing about these bread bags is they are pretty much the exact same size as a padded flat rate envelope. So we know if we can fit it in the bag, we can fit it in the envelope. So pretty easy system. Pretty much anything over one pound. And since we decided to do free shipping, we'll put it into a padded flat rate envelope if we can. And it's about 8.30 on pirate ship. So not too bad. And then we'll give the tracking information to the buyer on Mercari. Next, we sold this DVD box set. It was the series Homicide for $44.08 on eBay. So this was something that we had picked up at a church rummage sale and we paid just $2 for it. And so that was a great flip. Just something to be on the lookout for. Some kind of random TV shows, especially box sets can sell pretty well. People like complete series. So all mm -hmm. of it was there. People don't want to have to, you know, onesies, twosies, you know, multiple times mm -hmm. trying to find a whole set. It, it's just a hassle otherwise. So definitely be on the lookout for huge box sets. The bigger it is, the more it'll probably sell. The next thing we sold was this HP LaserJet ink. We've got just black ink cartridge here. It's HP original toner. And, you know, these things are really easy to look up because they've got pretty much everything you need here on the packaging. And... You know, you can just search up on eBay and sell similar. So what we've done here is modified a USPS large mailing box to basically fit this as perfectly as we can. So this is basically how we're going to pack it up. It's not pretty, but it works. The buyer was all in $73.95. So let's finish this up real quick.
There you go, and we're ready to ship it. Next, we sold these cowboy boots by Corral for $40 on Facebook Marketplace. So these are in really nice condition. I would say that Corral is a lower brand in terms of cowboy boots, you know, that they're really nice cowboy boot brands and then, you know, more, not discount ones, but like more affordable ones. Mm -hmm. I would say Corral is in the more affordable category, but these were in really nice condition and cowboy boots just in general, even the affordable ones are expensive. So to be able to find them used and to be able to sell them to someone, $40 was a great price for this. I originally offered it at 50 and the person offered me 40. So pretty good. And they sold really quickly too. So that was the other thing that I was thinking was I would like to get sold quicker rather than slower. So mm -hmm. always happy to take an offer. We sold these jeans by Good American. It was part of a bundle and we priced this one at 45 45 on Poshmark. That price comes out from basically the whole bundle price. I have a 15% offer on all bundles. So the person bought it the 15% off. And then I took out the prices of the other two items that this person had bundled together. We picked these up at a thrift store on our baby moon and that was a great thrift store. It was so fun to go to. We found a lot of good stuff and this was the first thing to sell from that little haul that we got. Just really excited. It was also our first time finding Good American. So that is a brand to be on the lookout for. Mm -hmm. It's not one that we come across very often, but it seems like it is pretty well. Not often because it was the first time and we've been doing this yeah. for a little while. <laughs> yeah. So our next sale, was this pair of Reformation jeans and they sold for a total of $74.65 was what the buyer was all in after shipping. These are a really cool pair of jeans. I believe that they're the Cynthia jeans and they're in this cool colorway, kind of half, half. Very cool pair of jeans. We don't find Reformation very often, but when we do, we like to pick it up and it usually sells pretty well for us. These jeans did better than some of the dresses that I've picked up. The more plain things don't do as well as, you know, the more kind of interesting styles, the more trendy things, that sort of thing. So Reformation is definitely a trendy sort of brand. So you want to look out for the trends on the items and those will definitely sell better because you know, it's already a trendy brand and then you add trendiness on top of that, double whammy. So here I'm just packing it up in our little bread bag and we ship all of our jeans in a padded flat rate envelope. So we'll send these out in one of these and get it to the buyer and hope that she loves it. So we hope that you enjoyed that new way of showing some of our sales. We thought, you know, that it would be more fun to show kind of us packing them up and talking about them there rather than, you know, just like the after action report here on the couch. So let us know if you liked that format. We're going to try it even more next week. So next week, all of our sales will be that way. So let us know if that's something that you like, if that's a change that, you know, it's good. It's, it's a good. good change. Who yeah. knows for sure? Yeah, we, we kind of like it. I don't yeah, know. I think it's kind of fun. I think it's more like bringing you along with us and we, you know, just want you to be a part of our lives in that way. So I think it's pretty fun. Yeah. So there are two ways we could do that. We can do it just where we're showing it in the overhead view, but there's also that second way where we film ourselves a little bit before we actually pack it up. So mm -hmm. let us know which of the two ways you like, and we really want your feedback. So that would really help us out because yeah. we are trying to prepare for when, you know, we don't have a whole lot of time for the right. both of us to sit down like this. We're just mm -hmm. trying to figure out, be more creative about what can we do to show you more information, but you know, not have to be together at the same time to film all of this stuff. Right. Uninterrupted time together. Right. If we do it piecemeal, like all of the ones that you've seen throughout the week, we don't have to sit down together for a long span of time. So exactly. hopefully it helps you. Hopefully it helps us. Mm -hmm. We are really trying to prepare for this baby to come. Yes, exactly. So this past week we got a payout from ThreadUp. So a couple weeks ago, I'd sent in a box to them and they processed it. It was a partner kit. There are a couple ways that you can send in items to throw it up. You can just send them in as a donation and then you get no money. You can send them in as a consignment kit, which get put on the site and you have 30 to 90 days or something like that to sell these items. And you can set, you have a little bit more control over the prices and you get a 
a different kind of payout structure. I don't remember what all the payout structures is and they're constantly changing. So I can make this video and a week later it would be out of date. And then the last way, which is the way that I chose was a partner kit. So that means that when you send it in, instead of getting a payout directly to you, you get a gift card to Joe whichever partner, partner you choose. You choose. Mm -hmm. So I chose Reformation so that I could buy some things to then resell. Or buy one thing at yeah. Reformation. Yeah, <laughs> it's gonna end up being, I think I'm gonna get two things, I think is my plan. The gift card that's gonna come to me from Reformation will be $212.45, which is in Reformation dollars, not that much. In Thread Up dollars, a good amount. I sent in 55 items in total and they accepted 36 of them. Mm -hmm. I didn't have them do the return back to me. So those other um, 19 items, they're just thread ups now, they Gone. own them. Yeah, so they'll send them out to one of you who orders a rescue <laughs> box of women's clothes. So they didn't accept those, but 36 items. And so in total, because I'm gonna subtract the amount from those, the cost of goods from those 19 items since I'm not gonna be able to sell them. I actually made a profit on ThreadUp of $130.29. So after I take out, you know, kind of the lost cost of goods of those items that I'm not gonna get back, that's how much I'll end up with, which is fine because what my strategy was, was to send in all of my really old inventory. Mm -hmm. So these are items that I knew, one, I had already looked at the brand in ThreadUp that I could get a payout for them. And two, they'd been listed for over six months. And for the ones that were closer to that six month mark, it was brands that I knew, like these things were not selling, they were just kind of stagnant things. A lot of these things were things that people had given us. It's, you know, it was a low cost of goods for us because it was zero dollars because people gave it to us. So it was a lot of those types of things where I didn't have a lot of risk into them and they were pretty cheap. So I was happy to send them in. Some of the brands that I sent in were Ann Taylor, Loft, J. Crew, Madewell, Talbots, a lot of Talbots. And so they accepted a lot of those, but a lot of them were really low payouts, you know, dollar, two dollars, you know, $5 Chico's. I sent in a lot of Chico's. I sent in two pairs of Madewell jeans. They paid out about $8, which that's pretty good. That's about how much I would get at Buffalo Exchange. Yeah. So a few good sales from ThreadUp was this pair of Jones Malls with True Religion jeans. Those sold and gave me a payout of $16.14, which is pretty good. I had them listed, I think at like 25 or something and they were not selling. I sent in this Notori, it was like an open front sweater and that gave me a payout of $17.85. That one I think I had listed at, originally at 30 and then I had lowered the price to 20 and no one was buying it. So again, another really good payout that I would not have gotten selling in on my own. And then lastly, this one was the best sale out of all the things that I sent in, was this M by Missoni sweater. They gave me a payout of $46.57. I had it listed at 50 for like over a year and no one was buying it. So that was great. That was a great sale. I will definitely be sending in M by Missoni if I ever find it again, which I think maybe I have not found it since, or even if I did, I probably might not have even picked it up because I was like, cause I have one in my closet and it's not selling, you know? <laughs> so there is some money to be made. I will probably continue to do this with really old stale inventory that I you know, never want to see again because it was pretty simple to pull it and it helped with our storage mm -hmm. issues. It helped, you know, with on eBay, you know, not having to go to the next tier in terms of stores. So it just was a good solution overall. And I think that that's something that we as resellers don't think about as a issue that's going to come up in our business, but something that we have to have kind of a plan for of, you know, inventory management. When your inventory You've had it for a really long time. You need to have some sort of exit plan for some of your inventory that is not selling. It's not super sustainable just to, you know, kind of let it sit. I mean, you, you probably could if you had unlimited space, but that's not something that I think a lot of us have. And um, so if that is an issue for you, just think about, you know, look into making some plans for offloading unwanted inventory. So just something to kind of, Think about something that we don't often think about in our reselling business. So here are numbers from the past week. So 
In total, if you include ThreadUp, we sold 92 items, but on just eBay, Facebook Marketplace, Poshmark, and Mercari, we sold 56 items. We had a gross revenue of $1,765.78. Our cost of goods, so the amount that we actually spent on all of those items, was $204.22. On eBay, we sold 23 items for a net profit of $442.05. Poshmark, we sold 15 items for $199.97. Mercari, we sold nine items for $184.25. On Facebook Marketplace, we sold nine items for $165.62. Mercari and Facebook had a decent showing this week. Yeah. Yeah, so I think that that really actually helped us. We even said like, wow, Macari is like really showing up this week. It's crazy. <laughs> just barely though. Yeah. You know, it's, it's almost tied with Poshmark, which is also a little surprising. Right. So Poshmark was a little bit slower this week than usual, but Facebook and Macari seemed to kind of make up for it in some mm. ways. So pretty interesting, a pretty interesting week. I felt like we were getting kind of more sales on those two platforms. I wonder if it's because we're starting to kind of catch up on those platforms in terms of the number of active listings and I've been trying to pay attention to them a little bit more you know I try to put on a sale on Facebook marketplace and make sure that I'm deleting and relisting items I'm renewing items all that kind of stuff so I think maybe that is helping some I'm not really sure we're not really sure about Picari or Facebook yeah. Marketplace. Yeah. So like I said earlier, for ThreadUp, I sent in 55 items. They actually bought 36 of them and I made a net profit of $130.29. So if you take all five of those platforms all together, our net profit for the week was $1,122.18. So pretty felt pretty good. Without ThreadUp, we were not going to make it. I figure, I think of it kind of similar to buy, sell, trade stores where it's just like a little bit of, just a little bit of work and a little bit of a payout, but you know, not as much work as listing it. Okay, now it's time for our segment on building wealth. We're going to show you a quick little update on our total stock market index experiment. This is how we're doing. Not bad but still bad so eh, i don't know how to phrase it because Better it's than on the, last week yes, it's on it, the upswing there you go it's up it's up on the upswing it was minus 1200 last week and it's only minus 800 this week yeah we're back in the triple digits baby <laughs> <laughs> so you know a 400 dollars swing we feel like we're starting to see it's you know climb again so we are anticipating you know probably a little bit more of a bumpy road but overall the long term is looking good. It has been looking good. We haven't been worried. So uh, just keep up with us and we'll continue to let you know how it's going. The other thing about building wealth that we wanted to talk about kind of references last week where we talk about having this mindset of negotiating, you know, thinking that there's something more to be had, getting more value out of things. And this week, I want to really just drill down on that idea because building wealth is about a mindset of building wealth. It's not about having a whole lot of money because you can spend a lot of money and not be wealthy and not have wealth in your life, right? Whether that be mental or physical wealth or whatever it is, you have to have a good mentality on how you make money, how you spend money, how you save money, all of that so that you can actually build on something, right? Because if you're making $100,000 and you're spending $99,000, I mean, <laughs> You're not, you're not doing a whole lot to build your wealth. It's one of those things where I think it's more important to have a good mindset so that you have a good foundation for when you feel like you're starting out or you're kind of in the middle of this road where you are climbing yourself out of debt. It, it's about having a good mentality about what you want for your future, right? We talked about in the past, you know, what you value. We talked in the past about the things that you can save money on so that you can put it elsewhere, right? And so it's important that you know what you value so that you can really focus on those things and kind of cut out all the miscellaneous things. So what we encourage you and our friends to do is to really look at your expenses to see what it is you need versus what it is you continually spend on the things you want. But is it necessary? Like it doesn't bring you value and it doesn't bring you joy and you're kind of just doing it just to do it. So there you go. Just a little bit to think about because having a mentality of building wealth is overall probably the most important thing. For our community Bolo, it comes from Glamma, from Glamma's Closet. And she sent us this toy birch purse. It's really nice purple, a deep purple with this gold chain. I think most things from toy birch sell purses, shoes, 
um, even their clothing so pretty well if it has the big emblem from Tory Burch you should probably look it up pick it up if it's a good enough price she sold this one for $80 so a really great sale she had gotten it from the bins so even she, better even better <laughs> yes that's what we love she's got it for less than a dollar is what she said into $80 that's just awesome so be on the lookout for Tory Burch it's something that we love to pick up it's that emblem that really stands out to people be on the lookout for that so thank you so much for sending that to us Glamma she is almost at a thousand subscribers and it would mean the world to us if you went over there and subscribed to her YouTube. She and Aunt Boo are so funny. We yeah. just love their humor and Aunt Boo does a great job editing the videos. Glamma is the star of the show and it's just one of those things where they just have a lot of fun. So go over there and subscribe to Glamma's Closet. She is so close to a thousand and let's get her there y'all. It would mean the world to us and make sure she knows we sent you. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you aren't subscribed, consider subscribing. We do these what's sold videos each week. We are changing it up a little bit. So leave a comment down below what you think of the new style. If you want to see us go that way, or if you want to see us stay this way, but I'm not sure that that's super a possibility. We'll have to see how quiet this baby is and how much she needs her mom and dad, all of that. So, Leave a comment down below and let us know, you know, how you're doing. We'd love to hear from you. And if you liked this video, give it a thumbs up. That tells us that it's a good video and it tells YouTube that it's a good video. And we just love getting those thumbs up. It just makes us feel so good. Yeah. So we'll see you in the next one. Yeah. Keep that passion burning, y'all. I don't know how much you're, you're going to see of us. We're going to try to consistently put out videos, but just know that we are always rooting for you. We're, we just hope that you're doing well and that you're still passionate about reselling because this is just so much fun. But hopefully we'll see you kind of throughout this next phase of our lives. But at the end of the day, we just want you to be happy and we're gonna be here cheering you on. We'll see you later. Bye. But only good, only, only nice feedback, no mean feedback. No, no, no meanies in the comments, okay? If you don't have anything nice to say, don't say it at all. <laughs> A lot of the stuff that we do is based on people's feedback, so.